Hey what's up everyone, in this video we're going to create a simple C Sharp script uh, to be a spawner for us. Uh, we're going to use the start coroutine function and we're going to use an IE enumerator and we're going to set up uh, a yield wait for seconds inside of this um, inside of this function so that we can basically spawn game objects over specific intervals and this this function will run outside of the update function um, and yeah let's just go ahead and look and see what this looks like so to create a spawner let's just create an empty game object first and we'll call this our spawner and then we'll go ahead and duplicate it and we'll make one of them the child of the other and the child we will rename to spawn point And then what we want to do is just create a script. So let's create a C-sharp script. And this one will also be called spawner. And we can just go ahead and attach that to our spawner right now. Um, then let's just go ahead and open it up and see what the code looks like um, and just get it going. So we're going to set up a few variables. The first one is going to be the spawn point. So we'll say transform uh, spawn point and we're going to use this uh, to basically determine where we're going to spawn our object uh, the second variable that we'll set up this will be a transform and this will hold the object that we spawn so we're going to call this one spawn object and this will be where we can let's go ahead and save this and look at the inspector um, so the spawn point we could put here and whatever prefab we're going to use uh, in this case let's spawn in an explosion um, so I have sample assets beta open if we go into the effects folder and particle systems and prefabs there's some explosions here uh, I'm just going to drag the explosion into the spawn object field and that's essentially what we're doing we're going to spawn that explosion at the spawn point um, so the, the way we're going to do this is let's set up a start coroutine function. And then the, the custom function that we're going to create, um, this one will be called, uh, let's say, spawn game object. All right, so essentially when the script starts, it's just going to go and try to start the coroutine which will spawn the game object um, and then we'll set up the IR enumerator uh, really quick I left out two variables that we need to set up so we'll do we're also gonna make an int and this one is gonna be the spawn total and we're gonna use this one to determine how many uh, objects we want to spawn um, and we'll create a for loop so we can iterate through that number um, the other one that we're going to do is it'll be a float and this will be our time between spawns so if we want to have these objects spawn every second or two seconds um, or every half second we can do that with this float alright so let's go ahead and set up our IE numerator and basically what that looks like is do spawn game object And the spawn game object is the same function that we're calling when we call our start coroutine. So basically what we're saying is uh, with start coroutine is we want to loop through this function and this function is spawning spawn game object. So let's go ahead and set that up. Um, we're going to set up a for statement um, to do this. And uh, basically, to set up a for statement, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up uh, a basic variable. So we'll just say var x is equal to 0. Um, and then we'll say if, whoa. so if x is less than our spawn total, 
we will increment x by one. And then uh, and we can also execute the code below. So we'll do an instantiate. And then what the instantiate basically looks like is it's looking for first the object that we're going to spawn. So that'll be called our spawn object. And then it's looking for a position and rotation. So we'll do spawn point dot position and spawn point dot rotation. And now we're essentially spawning our object. Um, what we also want to do, because if we don't put a yield wait for seconds in here, it's just going to continue to loop through this um, almost instantly. Uh, so what we will do is we'll set yield return new um, wait for seconds and then the duration that we're going to wait is going to be our time between spawns so if we do time between spawns now we pretty much have the setup so we can go ahead and we can save this um, and again what we're doing here is we have our spawn point and we have our spawn object and then we have our spawn total and our time between spawns and then we also created this custom function, uh, an IE numerator, um, which is called spawn game object. So when this script starts, we're, we're running start coroutine, which is going to say spawn game object. And then it'll jump into this function, which will then go through this for loop. Um, and then what the for loop is doing, it's, it's going to set itself at zero and then it's saying uh, so we have this variable x so x is initially equal to zero so if x is less than the spawn total we'll increment x by one and we're gonna we're allowed to execute the code below which is to instantiate our object which is our our spawn object that we're gonna set in the inspector and we're gonna instantiate that at the spawn point dot position and spawn point dot rotation um, and then we'll we set up a yield wait for seconds so that this doesn't actually just continuously run um, really fast uh, so let's go ahead and save that um, then we can edit a few more values in the inspector so let's say we want to spawn uh, let's just say 10 game objects in every 1.5 seconds so we'll go ahead and we'll press play. And we can see we're continuously spawning explosions. Then once we spawn 10 of them, it's just going to stop. So you can use this to spawn uh, enemies that are going to come and attack the player, similar to like tower defense game. Uh, you can use this for, like I, if we wanted to, there's a ton of explosion prefabs in here. So we could make like a really, um, big explosion scene if we wanted to um, but yeah so that's pretty much how this works uh, if you want to go ahead and check this out uh, leave a comment in the video description if you like it um, and then yeah we'll see you in one of the next videos thanks again for watching